CNN Headline News, I'm David Goodenow. If you're on the East Coast, the Johnny Carson era is over. Further west, the end is near. Carson bid his TV audience goodbye Friday after almost 30 years as host of The Tonight Show. After the Friday taping, the party moved to Johnny's home in Malibu. Invited guests only, please. The FAA has restricted the airspace above Carson's home for the rest of the night. For the final time Friday, TV viewers heard the phrase, here's Johnny. Johnny Carson ended his three-decade reign on late-night TV with a retrospective show. There were no celebrity guests, only Johnny and his family, friends, and staff. Carson may be leaving The Tonight Show for good, but he'll never leave the Academy of Television, Arts, and Sciences. Friday, the Academy unveiled a bronze statue of Carson at its Hall of Fame plaza outside the Los Angeles headquarters. Carson has said his final farewell to viewers of The Tonight Show. He commemorated his 30-year reign with clips of conversation and music selected from the more than 4,000 past shows. And he thanked viewers for inviting him into their homes over the years. Many members of the audience left the show in tears. Longtime friends saluted Carson. He never, you know, he never stepped on a line and uh, he, he knew what, 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 well, his timing was absolutely superior, partly because he, he's a mid magician magician and a musician musicians have this wonderful inborn timing after the show Carson and wife were whisked away by helicopter to a party at their seaside home in Malibu California the Federal Aviation Administration has restricted airspace above his home for the rest of the evening to give him some privacy Johnny Carson has stepped down as king of late-night television his final show last night was a private parade of memories. Carson's only guests were sidekick Ed McMahon and band leader Doc Severinsen. The only studio audience, family, friends, and staff. Choking back tears, Carson showed clips from the last 30 years of The Tonight Show. Leaving the set for the last time, he then headed for the first party he'd ever hosted at his Malibu mansion. CNN Headline News, I'm Gordon Graham. A late night American treasure has bid farewell. After 30 years as a welcome guest in millions of homes, Johnny Carson ended his reign on The Tonight Show last night. The final show included a montage of memorable moments of the show's past. And as the end grew near, an invitation-only audience of family and friends choked back tears as Carson described himself as one of the world's lucky people. You people watching, I can only tell you that it has been an honor and a privilege to come into your homes all these years and entertain you. And I hope when I find something that I want to do and I think you will like and come back that you'll be as gracious inviting me into your home as you have been. I bid you a very heartfelt good night. Afterwards, Carson and friends headed to his seaside home in Malibu for a farewell party. For longtime fans, there will never be another Johnny. And when Jay Leno delivers his first monologue of the post-Carson era, the rating scramble will be on. Casey Wyan reports. Hey, here you are. We'll be right back. For three decades, millions of viewers have gone to bed with Johnny Carson. Monday night, NBC is hoping its Tonight Show audience will stay up and stay tuned to this man, Jay Leno. Welcome, welcome, welcome! The stakes are high. Late night TV represents half a billion dollars a year in ad revenue. And with Carson, NBC controlled two-thirds of that market. At one time, he must have been 15 or 16 percent, maybe a couple of points over, a couple of points less of the entire corporation, NBC's profits. Bottom line for Jay, his competition will be fierce. There's Arsenio, Dennis, and there's talk of Whoopi and Chevy, all chasing for a piece of the late night pie. So it's going to take the same audience and carve it up into smaller groups. There's going to be more cost to both the television channels and networks as well as the advertisers to get the same audience. That concerns NBC, but the network believes its share won't erode. We're in the position of having, not only being the incumbent, but the, being the incumbent over, uh, you know, dozens of years. Uh, so there's no question that we're four or five laps ahead of anybody else before the starting bell. We're committed over the long haul with Jay Leno. He's our, he's our guy. Not everybody believes Leno will fill Johnny's shoes. He's not replaceable, so we'll assume all of that business isn't replaceable, the franchise, if you will. I think they're taking a, a more of a chance than they had to. I would have given Dave Letterman the shot. 
Hi. NBC's decision to go with Leno may be a risk, but not one without reward. NBC actually may come out financially ahead with Carson's departure. Carson reportedly earned up to $30 million a year. Leno will get $3 million. Johnny Carson has clearly earned his place in television history. Now it will be up to Jay Leno to keep NBC's late night tradition parked in the number one spot. Casey Wyan, CNN Business News, Burbank, California.